channel assign when you're setting up your RC airplane and you decide you want this certain wing type, where do you plug in your servos? What channel do the ailerons go in, the elevator, etc. Let's look at the uh, IX-12 on the TV here and let's go through several different wing types and let's see how the channel assign changes. Sit tight. <laughs> If you want to win a jet like this, all you have to do is subscribe, click the like button, and leave a comment, and then uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. At 1,000 subscribers, we gave this jet away. At 5,000, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So hey, subscribe guys. Happy flying. Hey YouTube, it's Sean, Griffin RC Planes. Happy weekend everybody. Today's Friday night, uh, March 3rd. Today in Middle Tennessee we had a wind storm and uh, a lot of you in the country west of us have probably, or, or yes, you've already experienced it. And now everybody to the east of Middle Tennessee here in the United States, you are experiencing the wind storm. And I'm telling you guys, it was something, it was constant six hours of non-stop wind of probably 30 miles an hour minimum gusting up to 50 and 60 and when the gust came it would gust for three or four minutes like non-stop it was it was bad I uh, I came home early from work just because of it because I heard the power came out and then somebody said the, that the roof of my uh, my deck was getting blown off which it is it's gone and I would look out my back uh, French doors and I would watch these trees just bend as the wind was just blowing and blowing and blowing and then they'd go. And I probably saw 20 or 30 trees go down. Every time I went to grab my phone to film something for you guys, it, it got too, uh, too dangerous to stand near the windows and, and it was just rough. And I hate it for everybody that, uh, that either got some damage or got hurt or something. So. I hope, uh, hope everybody is okay. The surrounding areas around me are without power. For some reason, my, my uh, neighborhood and a few stores close by have electricity, but once you go uh, half a block in either direction, it's just, it's just dark. None of the street lights are working. The grocery stores are closed. You can see some emergency lights on inside buildings, and it's kind of eerie feeling. So anyways hey someone one of you guys an awesome uh, awesome guy kind of pointed me in the direction of somebody needing some help and, and that is always a good video idea because that's gonna help somebody else so this person was saying hey I need some help guys I've got my my plane and my transmitter and I've got it set to Elevon and I wanted to assign my channel 6 to operate safe select on a switch for on and off and his channel six said not available. He just like, you know, help me out. You know, what's going on? So what happens is, is when you choose a wing type, automatic mixes occur, and then the transmitter tells you where to plug each servo into your receiver, you know, to coincide with your wing configuration. And Without, uh, without following the steps, you know, from A to Z, you kind of miss a few steps and you don't know why that happened. You know, you, you buy a PNP airplane and you open up the three or four page instructions and it says, you know, make sure you have a Elevon for a wing type and plug this servo into that one and this one into that one. Or they've got a multi-board already in the plane and you're plugging it up. So I'm going to show you guys here on the TV the IX-12 and we'll just go through the start of creating a model and then we'll choose several different wing types and then we'll look at the channel assign and you guys can see what, uh, you know, what what's channels are open, you know, where it tells you to plug in each servo. Just kind of give you guys an idea of something cool to look at. So sit tight, let's get the uh, IX-12 up on the TV. Let's run through the basics real quick. So this is a six channel receiver. Most of our airplanes are gonna have one 
servo plug from the speed control plugging into channel one the next will be a servo plug that is a y harness that's going to the ailerons and it plugs into channel two the next will be another servo plug that plugs into channel three for the elevator the next will be another servo plug that plugs into channel four for the rudder that's a four channel airplane some planes have landing gear and that is generally associated with channel five some planes have landing flaps and that's generally associated with channel six all this can be changed but that is the general default setup just going forward nowadays with computers and etc you can pretty much change anything you want now let's look at the channel assign when you're creating a plane and then the channel assignment will tell you where to plug each servo lead into due to the wing type airplane type that you have chosen because that's what you have to set up all right guys and gals i got the is12 pulled up on the tv we're going to connect a receiver bind up to it and then we'll just go through a few wing types and then we'll see what uh what what the channel signs doing and why you plug what receiver uh what servo into what uh what part of your receiver so i'm just going to make sure that i'm bound up here i'm just going to go over here to uh well, let me go back and go to uh because i don't have any servos connected to it i'm just going to go to forward programming and yep we're bound up so when you first start uh you know configuring your receiver into your plane you should go to model setup now i know this is a ix12 and a lot of people have the dx6 or dx8 it's the same as yours just the menu is set up in a little different uh, configuration on a dx6 or an 8 you just will have one row of options we're just seeing two different two different uh, instead of having to scroll all the way down you know we're getting a split screen for the same menu just looks a little different so the first thing you would do is go down to your aircraft type and we need to we need to choose our wings and stuff so let's run through normal really quick that everybody knows about and a normal wing shows a Y harness being in con this is actually linkage rods but for what we're doing that's a Y harness one servo means one one channel is operating both ailerons you know channel two the y harness that we're all used to and then we'll go to tail that'll be the next choice you need to make when you're setting up your plane normal one servo for elevator one servo for the rudder okay so then we'll go to the channel assign and it's going to tell us where to plug in what in our receiver and you can see that one the throttle not available it's spoken for because you need to plug your speed control or your servo to operate your gas or glow powered engine two not available that's for the ailerons three elevator it's not available that's for the elevator four rudder not available it's for the rudder now we're going to go to the receiver port assignments in your dx6 or 8 you would just scroll down and click next to get to the next screen so our RX, our receiver port assignments. One, plug your throttle into it. Channel two, plug your ailerons with your Y harness. Three, elevator, plug your elevator servo. Four, rudder, plug in your rudder servo. Channel five is for the gear, which is open unless you have landing gear. And the rest is open. All right, so now let's go back and let's look at a different wing type. So aircraft uh, type, 
and let's go to wing and let's see a lot of people talk about flaperons you know if you have a jet and it doesn't have flaps and you do need flaps or some kind of a flap to help you get some lift you can choose flaperons and that's where both your ailerons will droop down like a flap but they will still move independently as an aileron and that'll help you take off or land get a little slower and then once you're up in the air you can flip a switch and it'll go back to normal ailerons so our wing type is going to be flapperon and then our tail will be normal and we'll go down here to channel a sign and we'll see what's going on and one throttle not available that's where your speed control goes two aileron not available three elevator not available four rudder not available five for your gear six not available well how come let's go to the port assignment and now it's telling us where to plug what servo into the receiver one is for your throttle for your speed control or your servo to operate your engine two aileron that's where you plug your right aileron servo into not a Y harness where your right servo for the for your right aileron gets plugged into two three for your elevator servo four rudder for your rudder servo channel five for your gear channel six is for your left aileron servo so if you had a jet and it had landing gear and you chose flapperons it would take six channels to have that configuration you would need a seven chance channel transmitter or higher if you wanted to have safe select to be turned on and off by a switch on your transmitter you can always bind your plane to fly with safe on or with safe off but you're flying it that way you can't turn it off and on from your transmitter while you're flying I like to have it on a switch that way I can fly around and safe select and when I want to do a loop or a roll I can turn safe off but you need a extra channel on your transmitter to be able to do that all right my dog Brutus came and checked on me he told me I got about 30 more minutes or less so having flapper on and you had landing gear all six channels will be spoken for let's go and aircraft type and the one person that was in question Elevon that's flying wing and then the tail type will be a normal tail so you can see that it's one servo for the rudder and two servos for the wing but there's no Y harness they're individual there so let's go to the channel assign and see what's going on here so we can see that one is spoken for the throttle two aileron not available three elevator not available four rudder not available six not available five is for the gear but we just saw three servos right we just saw one for the rudder and two for each aileron but why is there five channels being spoken for well let's go to the receiver port assignment and see what's going on it's telling us to plug our throttle into channel one it's telling us to plug our right aileron servo into channel two our left aileron servo into channel three our rudder servo into four five is for the gear or if you don't have gear it's open six is saying flap if you don't have flaps on your elevon configuration I'm guessing that there is a mix in the transmitter to create some kind of flap flapper on Elevon ish and it is spoken for like I said I don't do flying wings let's uh let's do one more aircraft type for the fun of it we'll go to wings and we'll just see one of our other very common if we get a plane that has flaps will be one aileron and one flap and as you can see it is two Y harnesses 
You can kind of you can kind of look at this picture and see that there's two Y harnesses, so two servos, two channels will be needed. One channel for the ailerons, another channel for the flaps. So there'll be two Y harnesses there. And then we'll go to the tail and we'll just leave it normal. And then we'll go to channel assign. And as we can see, one is says not available, two not available, three not available, four not available, five gear. If you don't have gear, it's available. Channel six not available. Well, let's see our receiver port assignment. And as you can see, one for the throttle, two for your ailerons, that were your Y harness, three for your elevator, four for the rudder, five for the gear, or if you don't have gear, it's open. Six is for your flap. Y harnesses for the flap servos. What the heck? Let's look at one more real quick. Let's go to wing type and let's uh, do something crazy here. I noticed uh, Elevon A and Elevon B. They're virtually the same thing, but as you can see, the servos are faced in different directions. And this Elevon A, you know, this, this, that's actually linkage rod. So your servo and the servo arm is on this side of the servo and on this side of the servo. The Elevon B it's on the other side so just depending on how you built your plane what side of the servo your you know your linkage is going to be on then we got four ailerons boy you got to have a hefty wing to need two servos for each aileron oh and there's six ailerons so let's pick six ailerons what the heck all right then let's go down here tail type and let's see what we can pick from you got your normal V tails, uh, a V tail B, that's kind of like uh, each of those elevons. Dual elevator, dual rudder, dual rudder, one elevator. Here's some tailerons. Let's do a tailoron B dual rudder. What the heck? All right, then we'll go to channel assign and see what's all spoken for to do that plane boy as you can see that 10 channels right there 11 channels are not available to do that crazy setup so let's go to the receiver port assignment one throttle channel two is for right aileron one channel three is uh, for the right elevator servo channel four is for the right rudder Channel 5 is for the right aileron number 2. Channel 6 is left aileron 1. Channel 7 is left aileron number 2. Channel 8 is left aileron number 3. Channel 9 is left elevator. Channel 10 is right aileron 3. Channel 11 is for the left rudder. That's a ton of servos all plugged into different spots on the receiver so you would need a 11 channel trans or receiver or more to do that particular configuration but we were just doing that for the fun of it so we'll just get out of this thing and I tell you what we'll for the fun of it we'll grab our test plane real quick I tell you what real quick guys we will we will hook up a Elevon setup with our test plane real quick so we'll go back here to model setup aircraft type wing type we're gonna go to Elevon A and a normal tail and then we will go to channel assign and then RX port assignment and we've got our receiver that we've been using right here and it says one is for throttle and we'll spin this around real quick and I'll get our 
This is our throttle flag. So we'll take that right there. So throttle is number one. And then number two is right aileron, which is right here. Right there. I grabbed a extension. So right aileron. That extension might be bad. I think it is. Right aileron goes into channel two. Channel three is the left aileron. Channel four is for the rudder. So we've got our we got our elevon set up and you can look at the ailerons and you can see that they operate totally different. Throttle is the same, rudder is the same. So just something cool. Okay guys, hey, thank you so much. And thank you so much. All right, guys. Hey, I hope that helps uh, some of you out. Hope that gives uh, somebody some entertainment. Once again, the best way to support what I do is give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and then do this guy right here. Ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. And once again, thank you. Until next time, you'll see me here. Adios.